everybody, it's Paige and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Today's video is going to be a drugstore makeup haul. Everything that I'm going to be showing you guys I picked up from Walmart and I think I found some really good stuff. I'm so excited to play with these products. I think tomorrow's Vlogmas video will be a trying new drugstore makeup video so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys everything that I got. I will link as much as I can down below in the description box assuming that all of these products are available online which usually they are. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. We're kind of having a little bit of a laid back, chill bun moment. <laughs> I'm actually wearing, this is completely the opposite of drugstore, but I'm wearing the Natasha Denona Cranberry Palette on my eyes today, and the mattes in this palette are so weird. Like it's almost like a wet formula. Not sure how I feel about that specific formula from Natasha Denona, these two shadows here. But the shimmers in here are insane. I have this one on the center of my lid and then this one on like the inner part of my lid. And it's actually really pretty but super weird. So just thought I would mention that really quick. But we are here to talk about drugstore makeup. I feel like I'm really low in the camera frame so I'm going to fix that in a second. There is a giveaway in today's video. I'm actually going to be unboxing the Trader Joe's Beauty Advent Calendar. And then I will be giving one away as well. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it it could you guess that i was gonna say that <laughs> if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started i guess i'll start with the advent calendar since i have that sitting here so i picked two of these up they were in the front little section of my local trader joe's i think they were 20 dollars. in case you're interested in picking one up for someone or yourself but it is the 12 days of beauty and i thought this would be super fun to just like open it all up on camera see what's inside and then of course i picked one up for a giveaway so i will set that one down there and we will go ahead and start opening so where is day one day one is in the center here so let's go ahead and pop it open oh so cute that was a struggle to get out of the packaging with my nails. So we have a little mini toasted marshmallow shimmer body wash, of course from Trader Joe's. This is so cute. Let me see if it smells good. Honestly, I don't really smell anything. It's very light, whatever the scent is. It says toasted marshmallow, very, very light. I can't smell it. Maybe you can smell it better in the shower, but it's so adorable. Like, look at how cute and small that is. Okay, well, anyway, moving on to number two, which is right here. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. Oh gosh, I'm gonna break a nail doing this. Oh, I see, it opened up sideways. Okay, so here is the second product. This is the all for one, one for all shampoo, conditioner, and body wash trio. So cute. <laughs> I have I had no idea like what was in this when I bought it. I just thought it was fun and cute. So I thought, you know what? Like I might as well go ahead and give one of these away also. Let's look for day number three. It's kind of hard to see them. Okay, here is day number three. Ooh, looks like we have a little body butter action. This is a mini other coconut body butter. This is actually a really good product. I love this. It smells so good. I have the full size. Also, they have like a pumpkin one, or at least they had a pumpkin one last year, and it smelled amazing as well. But the original coconut is my personal favorite, so that's really cute that you get to try that. I'm guessing these are just all minis of their full-size products. Day four is up here in the top corner. Ooh, a little hand cream. This is the Cherry Blossom Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. That is so cute. I love when stuff comes in this sort of metal packaging. I feel like most people hate it, but I think it's really cute. I just put a little bit on the back of my hand here. Ooh, that smells good. If you like cherry blossom, you will love the scent of that. It's actually pretty strong. Moving on to day five over here. We've got, ooh, no way, a mini of their clementine butter. I did not know they had a clementine butter. I have to smell this. Oh my gosh, I love this more. I love it more than the coconut one. That smells so good. I love citrusy stuff, especially orange, like anything orange scented. I love so much. That is so cute. I'm gonna have to look for the full size of that. I don't think that they have that 
at my Trader Joe's. Day six looks like it is a big little section here. And there is nothing <laughs> inside. <laughs> no way, did it like fall? I think it fell. Okay, so we'll take a pause on day six and we'll move to day seven. Okay, well, never mind. I found day six. It like slid to the bottom. <laughs> this is their peel off vitamin C face mask. This looks like it's just like a little one time use packet. It like unstuck from the little glue blob that was there. <laughs> but anyway, day seven looks really cute. This is the gingerbread sugar body scrub. So adorable. I love gingerbread scented things, so I bet I'm gonna love this. It's sealed, so I can't really smell it. But actually, I'll open it so I can smell it. Ooh, that smells so good. It smells like a bakery. That is so yummy. Can't wait to give that a go. Moving on to day number eight. Day number eight is this little mini rose facial oil. I've actually used a facial oil from them and it was so nice. I don't think it was rose scented though. Um, oh wait, this is probably something completely different. I'm talking about like a makeup removing oil, like a cleansing oil. So I guess this is just like a little rose face, facial oil. That's super cute and fancy. For day number nine, we have a moisturizing face lotion with SPF 15. It's called their Enrich Moisturizing Face Lotion. It is nice that it has at least a little bit of SPF in there, but 15 is a little low if you ask me. <laughs> but that is really cute. I was gonna say that is really super cute. <laughs> I throw around adjectives like it's like nobody's business. <laughs> anyway, moving on to day number 10. Oh, I love this product, you guys. This is a blueberry and acai facial scrub. It's in like a little tube. Normally it comes in like a pot. And if you have any like open breakouts, it will sting. So just be aware of that. But like it works so good as a physical exfoliator. I'm such a big fan of it. I don't know how like, I don't know if it's Hiram approved, skincare by Hiram approved, but I've had great experiences with it in the past, so this does have a little mini in there for day number 11. Let's see what we have. Day number 11 is this really cute lip balm. This is their Almond Cream Moisturizing Lip Balm. It's really cute. I feel like this is a full size lip balm. I can't smell it like without applying it, but... I feel like Trader Joe's would make good lip balm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then the very last day is, what the heck? Exfoliating sugar cube. <laughs> I just like, oh my God, what the heck? Look at how little and cute this is. It's literally one sugar cube. Interesting. Well, I guess I'm definitely gonna have to have a little Trader Joe's shower moment and try out all of those products. Here is the aftermath of the kit. Was that worth $20? Honestly, <laughs> I don't know, but I hope you guys are still excited for the giveaway. So all of the details on how to enter will be listed down below in the description box. But now we're gonna get into like the really good part. Like that was like low key disappointing, <laughs> I'm kinda sad. <laughs> but it's okay, cause now I'm gonna show you guys all of the fun makeup that I actually picked out from Walmart. I tried to pick out like, not a full face of makeup, but like different categories of products so that when I did a trying new drugstore makeup video, I could try like most of them in one sitting. So the first product that I picked up is from e.l.f. This is their matte oil control primer. I do have oily skin and honestly the packaging is what sucked me in. I am a big fan of e.l.f. and I've been using a lot more of their products recently. So this sounded really nice and... I thought I would give it a go. I'm gonna go ahead and take a peek at the packaging. Here's what the actual primer looks like. It says, this clay infused primer helps control oil for a lasting mattified complexion. The smoothing yet lightweight formula helps blur the appearance of pores while combating excess oils with kaolin clay and tea tree. Oh boy, I hope this isn't like insanely overly fragranced with tea tree oil because I've had 
a rough experience with that from elf in the past so anyway moving on i actually picked up a foundation but this is one that I, that I already own but the shade that i have is way too dark for me and this is one that i have raved about on my channel it is the milani conceal and perfect foundation so my current shade that i already had is shade 03 light beige and as you can see, hopefully you can see by the bottle, it is like almost completely gone. And it is a little bit too deep for me at the moment, so I decided to pick up this one, which honestly, <laughs> this looks way too light. I was like, Jarvis, does this look good? Because like, there wasn't like a mirror for me to like hold it up to. But I don't know about this. This kind of looks like I might have to end up mixing the two. This is the shade 00BB Nude. So I think the like numbers are kind of weird because I do believe that they expanded their shade range. Um, so originally this was like the third shade in the collection, but now there's a lot before that. So I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a go. I'm, I'm probably going to end up having to mix this because this looks super light to me now. <laughs> Um, but this is an amazing foundation. It is full coverage. It has the most beautiful like natural finish and I just love it so much. So I did pick up one of those and then I also picked up the concealer. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Long Wear Concealer. It's like the same line as that foundation that I just mentioned but I haven't ever tried this before and I feel like if I love the foundation so much I'm hoping that the concealer is as good but we will have to try it out and see. I don't have a new powder to show you guys but I do have a couple of bronzers that I picked up. The first one is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. Sunkissed bronzer for face and body and I got this in the shade 02 medium. This is interesting because it looks like it has shimmer in it and I don't know how I'm gonna like that but I have a bronzer from Revlon that I freaking love. It's called, I already forgot what it's called, like the prismatic bronzer or something like that. So good and that has a little bit of a sheen to it as well so I thought I would try this out and then I also picked this one up from Maybelline. I've never heard of this product before. This is the City Bronzer and I got this in the shade 200. It's like a sculpting and bronzing powder so I thought that would be fun to try as well. I don't know which one I'll use in the video but if you guys have a preference let me know in the comments down below. For blush I picked up a couple of these little elf bite size face duos. These are so cute and I think they were only three dollars i picked up the shades watermelon and white peach let me see if i can give you a little glimpse guess whose camera just cut her off mine <laughs> but anyway here is a closer look oh boy at the bite size face duos it comes with like a matte blush and like a highlighty kind of shimmery type blush situation so i thought those would be fun to try out i love their bite-sized eyeshadows i think they come in like the same exact packaging those are like little quads and those are really nice so i thought these would be fun to try out as well i picked up a couple of different highlighter options i honestly wanted to buy so many more highlighters but i already have way too many so the first one that i picked up is from hard candy and this is like <laughs> honestly the packaging is kind of bulky i don't know if you can see but I, I like it. I actually like it. It feels nice and like high quality. <laughs> I don't know. But this is the Just Glow Highlighting Duo. And I don't know. Oh, Blushing on You is the shade. So there are two different powders in here. One is more pink and one is like more of a champagne beigey kind of color. And I think there were two different options. And I thought this one was really pretty, especially for this top shade here. So I'm really excited to try that out. And then I also saw this from NYX, and I'm pretty sure this is new. This is their Diamonds and Ice Please Highlighting Palette, and it looks like this. The packaging is so cool. Even Jarvis was like, wow, that packaging is really cool. I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so this is what it looks like on the inside. There is no mirror, but you do get four different highlighting powders. So I'm going to take off this little thing so you can see it without a glare and, you know, maybe be like a decent YouTuber. All right, so there are the four highlighting shades that you get. This one is probably a no-go for me, but these bottom two especially look nice, and then the pink as well does look really pretty. So yeah, I thought I would try that out. I don't think I've tried anything new from NYX in like years. Like it's been a long, long time. I picked up an eyeshadow palette from the brand Profusion. I actually don't think I have purchased anything from this brand before, but they have sent me PR in the past, and I have their 
palette. What is that palette? This is the palette that I'm talking about. I just got up and grabbed it so I could show you. This is the Mirage palette. I love this palette, you guys. It is so good. They actually had quite a few different eyeshadow palettes there, and they had some blush palettes also, or maybe they were face palettes. Um, but either way, I decided to pick up this eyeshadow palette. This is the Mauves. I think there was like a really cool toned one, like Taupes, Mauves, or something like that. I don't know. But I thought this one was really pretty, and it was only like $5. Like, I was kind of like shocked by the price. I knew they were affordable, but like, I didn't know they were that affordable, so. This is the palette right here, really pretty mauve tones, obviously. This shimmer right here, let me see if I can open this. This shimmer right here looks freaking incredible. I'm not gonna swatch it because I do wanna save this for that video and I want like a first impression. So yeah, definitely gonna use that in the video. And then I picked up some lip products. The first one is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I actually have like three of these already. I love this lip gloss, but I got this in the shade Moon and I bought this because of TikTok. Everyone says that this is a dupe for the Fenty Gloss Bomb and I think just like the, the original shade or maybe Fussy. Maybe it's the shade Fussy. I don't know, but I thought I would try it out and just like test the rumored dupe for you guys. So here is what the gloss looks like. It's a really pretty kind of like lip regular i don't know like pinky color but it has little sparkles in it I'm, i think fussy is the shade that it's supposed to be a dupe for so yeah i got that i also got this really pretty sparkly gloss this was also on the nyx end cap where i got the highlighting palette it was like a ton of new stuff this is their filler instinct plumping lip polish and i have this in the shade sparkling please and it is filled like absolutely filled filled with glitter. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see the glitter from there, but you guys, this is like sparkly. Like it is sparkly. So we'll see if it actually translates that way onto the lips. And then the very last product that I picked up from Walmart is from CoverGirl. This is the Exhibitionist Lip Gloss and I got this in the shade Highness. And this is what it looks like. It's like a really pretty peachy kind of corally color. And I thought the packaging was so cute and it does say limited edition on here. I think it's new because I've never heard of this before, but yeah, that is everything that I picked up from Walmart. I can't wait to try out all these fun products and make sure you guys are subscribed because like I said, we are in the middle of Vlogmas and I am posting a video every single day up until Christmas of this month and tomorrow's video will be me trying out all of these products so yeah i guess that's pretty much it i will try to link as much of this as i can in the comments down below not in the comments no in the description box down below and all of my social media and stuff will be there as well so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up i love you all so so much i hope you all have a wonderful day don't forget to enter the giveaway and i will see you all in the next one bye